Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. John Cole and I are speaking with Bill Jordan, the baby boom except Lar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bill. I need Bill, a dictionary I, to talk to you guys. <laughs> Bill, a little serenade for you. Mm. Mm. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. Frank Sinatra. Hey, any regrets, Bill? You've lived, you've lived a long and fruitful life. I really have. And, you know, I, I appreciate Old Blue Eyes singing that about regrets. I've had a few. And then I've talked to other people who go, oh, I don't have, I don't regret anything. Man, I've got regrets. My gosh, of course I do. You know, uh, we've talked in previous ones about, gosh, I wish I had saved more money sooner. Uh, there's all kinds of things that I kind of regret, but I've also made some good calls. But I've got sort of a, a silly regret that keeps popping up in my mindset because of something that will happen. I go, man, I wish I had a, boy, I wish I had done this. And you know what it is? You know what it is? You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you would never guess in a million years what my, what my, one of my biggest regrets is. And it's a totally practical thing. It's not an affair of the heart or anything like that, or a job or career thing. You if wish I, you didn't grow older. Nah, that's not it. Again, we've <laughs> talked about that too. There's some good things to growing old. I don't get, I don't get three grandkids by staying 30 years old, you know, <laughs> and uh, that's a great plus for me. No, a, gr a regret I have got, a serious regret is that I didn't take shop in high school. Oh, that's interesting. I every I, It just happens all the time that we just, man, I'd love to build a shelf or I'd love to be able to do this or even simple, a word working or some kind of be better at fixing things around the house or even a metal shop where you could weld stuff together and do some stuff. And I just, every now and then, I wish I knew my way around tools and power saws without, yeah. you know, losing something, you know, I'm a, I got too many things that I'm afraid of losing. So um, I wish I had that skill. There, there are other regrets too that, yeah, I should have, I should have done this better. I should have had made a better decision with this side of the other thing, but but for whatever reason where I am, and I know it's kind of goofy, I just, I wish I had taken wood and metal shop. Now, I don't even know if schools offer that anymore. I don't, I don't I think that most of them don't, but I have to tell you something. Um, you just, you, you, there was a zinger to my heart because I would have had a regret, but I did take shop. And I fondly, <laughs> I fondly remember making a lamp out of wood on wow. a lathe on a lathe and a base and electrical cord and a and a, a, a lampshade and it worked and yeah. i wow. i must have been in junior high maybe uh i don't think it was high school i think it was in junior high and i was very proud of that lamp and i can understand why your regret probably runs deep yeah, and I think it was Bill Cosby did a bit about about shop class, and he said everything turns into a shoe shine kit or a, <laughs> or or an ashtray or something. Yeah. I mean, that was a bit of whatever the project was. It always just turned into the same thing. Yeah. So um, I just I just wish I had some of those, and maybe it's like you know the the manly skills kind of thing. And I'm not trying to make a, a sexist comment, but yeah, this I, I know a lot of my friends. I mean, they you, they they can operate any kind of power tool. They got their garage as a shop. They're always building something. They'll bring a, like, I've got a friend who brought over for my granddaughter, brought, you know, a rocking horse but, that he made. But Bill, but Bill, Man. don't you think they have a regret that they never learned how to do a live 30 second spot and get out well, on time? You well, know I, I do have to remember, and I think it's good for us all to remember that, you know, everybody is skilled at something and I may lack in some things, but there are things that I can do that others cannot. Now, granted, most of what I can do is pretty useless, but <laughs> but there are things that I can do that others cannot. So yeah, it kind of evens out. The main thing is to have friends who have a shop and know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Don't you think, uh, guys, that um, if, let's take shop as an example, if you were deprived of a shop and you really had it in you uh, to build birdhouses or... Uh, uh, you know, dishes. Uh, what you would go, sure. you would go and explore that. That's what you would right. be sparing and doing in your own spare time. 
Right. And, and I've actually looked into around the area uh, like an adult, like wood shop. But what I find is wood, what's the word? It's woodworking in that, like you're talking about, I don't, I don't necessarily want to make bird houses. <laughs> I want to make, I want to know how to make some stuff and really know my way around all kinds of tools. And of course, you know, what we have for that now is YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. YouTube, anything you want to learn or know how to do, it's on YouTube. It's crazy. So, but my dad, I mean, he used to, he converted our garage we had in a, in a single garage, a little ranch house up in uh, Virginia. He converted that garage to a den. He wired mm. it. He did everything. You know, the insulate, he, he just did it. And yep. that was before YouTube. Yeah. He just knew how to do it. Well, don't you don't know, automatically know how to do it. You, you learn by doing right. it. You learn right. by right. mistakes and asking people. That's what... That's what uh, uh, you go to the store for. You right. find a good lumber yard, <laughs> you get right. to behind the counter, and you ask a lot of questions. Yeah. Oh, I'm useless. I go into Home Depot, and i am just got this dazed and confused look. And it's like, can I help you? It's like, I don't know, even know the name of the part I'm looking well, okay. for. Okay, so Home <laughs> Depot is not the, place, not the place where you go to ask somebody to be knowledgeable to help you learn how to do something. Maybe Ace Hardware or your yeah. local Ace type. Yeah, I got a, I've got a friend who's a manager at an Ace Hardware. So, yeah, yeah. I do go up there, you know, because I'm looking for like one screw. I need, yes. I lost, I dropped this one down the air vent and I need another one just like this. Mm -hmm. So, I'm look. I go in there for, you know, a, a 12 cent item. Right. That's me. Yeah. You know, speaking of that, that one screw, you remember when, when, uh, uh, lumber yards and stores, uh, uh, hardware stores used to have a bin. Mm. A metal bin of nails and uh, loose nails. You pick them up, put them in a paper bag, and weigh them, and you'd pay by the pound. And now, of course, you go to one of the big box stores, and you can buy a box of a uh, hundred nails or a thousand nails, but yeah. you can't get just one little screw or one yeah. little nail. Yeah. I'm looking Mark, for. I'm, a sorry, nail. I'm sorry. So, so uh, th that's a, th we're in my wheelhouse now. Okay. Ace okay. Hardware and that kind of hardware store, even Home Depot, has a whole uh, wall or an aisle that has nuts and screws, and you can buy just one. And you write yeah. down the number. And yeah, really? So, John, the next time yeah. you're up here for lunch, okay, I'm going to take you to Ace Hardware, and I'm going to show you around. Okay, because you know your way around a garden shop. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> and I need some help because i got a 4 by 8 section that I want to put in at Sunshine, and you can talk to me about that. But I'm going to take you to the hardware section, and I'm going to show you uh, that you can buy one. See how we help each other here? And you know what? If I need to do a 30-second a, a spot, you know who I'm coming to. Oh, I'm coming I, to the guy I, I who does it better do than anybody else. Yeah, speaking of which, I just forgot. I forgot to do a a, a car commercial this morning I was supposed to do before we did this. So uh, well, I got to get going. Blame it on us. I totally forgot. Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> before you go, embrace the boom. I've got my book. That's it, guys. I appreciate it. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. the boom. Love it. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.